that is Dishman Carbogen Amsis. Uh, that's reacting to its Q4 numbers. Ekta is here with more. Ekta. Thanks for that. Well, yes, the revenue was up around 9 odd percent, but the EBITDA has come crashing, uh, has come in at around 8.3 versus 3.9 percent. But there is a net loss, which is coming at around 70.7 crores versus a loss of around 44.6 crores on a year on year basis. So that's really expanded. Now, uh, the company has indicated that, you know, the revenue was aided by their Babla site, which has seen an uptick. The lower sales were because of the vitamin D sales in the quarter, lower margins because of the Dutch business due to higher raw material costs. There was a forex element in the quarter, R&D was around 7 odd crores and there was a one-time consultancy operation expense also at, to the tune of 4.2 crores and a provision on account of a contract which was to the tune of around 42 odd crores. If you look at it segment-wise, Carbogen Amsis, which is basically their crams business, Q4 revenue was up 9.1%. Margins, however, came in lower on a year-on-year -year basis. Vitamin D, the Q4 revenue was down 5.3%. And margins crashed all the way to 13.2% versus 19.2%. Their API and intermediates business also saw a strong growth, but the margins came in at just about 2-odd percent. And the India Quants and Generics business, the revenue was down around 14 0.4% with margin stable at around 7 odd percent. So really uh, marred by one-offs this quarter and uh, due to segmental performance which was really mixed this quarter which impacted Dishman. Okay, Dishman in focus, weak set of numbers, losses have expanded. Ekta, thank you so much for that lowdown. We do have a lot